Okay guys, Gaston from Connecting Tennis, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna work in the inside out forehand, but one specific, okay? Not all the heights. Today we're only gonna work in the ball that you take high, sometimes, most of the times from your shoulder and above, okay? Trying to push the ball down, opening the court, pushing it down, finishing and pointing with your hand when you want a ball to go. So we're not gonna work the, the low ball going heavy, okay? Like we work from the forehand side, but it's a great ball, especially if you're playing in a fast surface, maybe in clay court is not uh, as effective as in grass, uh, indoor, uh, hard court or outdoor. But those are faster surfaces, so it's gonna be better. I'm gonna show you a couple of balls and then I'm gonna tell you a little tip and one thing that you have to follow in order to, to make it great. So let's see how it looks. One of the things that it's crucial to make it good, sorry I'm a little tired, you have to be really, really intense with your legs. As you can see, with my racket prepared here, I was already turning my back, okay, showing my back to the side of the court, running around the ball, but always with my legs bent so I can create intensity to then do the pump and go out to get the ball. Some of the ball, I got them really high so that the ball bounces on the floor and it gets a little kick especially here like I say side, uh, clay court it's gonna be a little different maybe those balls in hard court they're gonna go forward and the other tip this is very important when you want to play the ball I'm gonna show you like this when you play the ball forward you have to follow through with the racket and the tip of the racket has to go where you want the ball to go kind of like point you're not gonna stop the racket there you're gonna follow through, of course, but some point, okay, in the in the way of hitting the ball, the tip of the racket has to point where you want and following through. Of course, most of the times after this ball, you're gonna go to the net. And it's very important when you're facing like this, you hit the ball, you fall, you go to the net, but don't face the court like this, okay? You have to hit the ball, go to the net, and be a little open like this, okay? Kind of diagonal to cover the down the line to be ready to cover the low or to cover the cross court you're ready one step there okay so it's very important because if you run to the ball you hit it you run here you're gonna be in not the best position to cover the three options the low to cover the down the line of the cross court so remember very intense with the leg when you're turning around running around the ball already with the racket prepare the tip of the racket pointing where you want the ball to go. It's great if you practice this with cones. Try to aim the targets. Always great to play with targets. And then after the ball, you go to the net with the semi-open, okay, here, stance to cover the three options. And so you don't get a love, you don't get a winner. So I hope you guys like it. Get to practice this, okay? It's a great ball. It's very effective if you're intense with your legs. A ball that is kind of loving in the middle of the court, you can get intense run around and play this ball. 80% of the times it's gonna be a winner if you execute it right. If not, you close in the second ball, I promise you this is a fact, it's, a, it's an equation, okay? You hit it well, you go to an edge, you close the point if it's not a winner. So if you guys didn't subscribe to the channel, there's gonna be way more videos coming. Subscribe, connectingtennis.com, we have all the free lessons. Remember, subscribe to our, our newsletter, we have a lot of content coming. Thank you guys. Do the fitness, train every day, get better. See you in the next one.